Good morning. Uh, morning, day five. Uh, we're heading off to Coffee Bay. It's our last day. It shouldn't be too much of a hike. Um, my feet are sore, legs are aching, but I'm sure the first few kilometers will walk that off. Okay, so it's breakfast time. Breakfast day five, morning of day five. And they've just brought in the breakfast into, into the room. And they brought the breakfast for Potso and myself. So let's have a look what we've got. So on this tray here is uh, tea and plates for Potso and I. Um, oh, that's hot. And um, that's some porridge. Nice filling porridge. Here we've got some beans. That's obviously for me. Bread. And this, yeah, this bread looks different to, to last night's bread. Uh, we've got boiling water for the for the tea or coffee. Mm. And we've got a little bit of egg for Potsa. Potsa's having a bit of egg today. Um, yeah. Get refueled. Stocked up. Um, look at this mess I've made here. I've got to pack all this away. Some, just about to start my breakfast, I've just dished up and then I noticed I see the girls are off to to go fetch some water. There's my little friend. Hey, you going to garden? Yes. What's that for? Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, so that household down there they the other uh, hikers accommodation so they uh, I presume maybe those are some of the rooms for the hikers so they've got nice uh, uh, water tanks I see they've got two big water tanks they've got um, they've got electricity so definitely probably a little bit better off there but there's something really really nice about being in this is probably the one of the most rural households um, of my stay and yeah I didn't want to take too much water so I was happy with just a, a, li a litre for my backpack but so you got some egg this morning uh. yeah got to a vegetarian <laughs> now it's still vegetarian if you're eating egg uh. <laughs> yeah. I just just missed it but the younger uh, sister that uh, brought the breakfast, she's back already, just gone into that house uh, with a water bucket on her head. And there's the other sister and a little daughter, my little sales lady. They're still coming down. I mean, you come down that steep hill with a bucket of water on your head, that's next level, that. Uh, definitely next level. So I'm just chilling out on the grass. Um, before we head off for a hike, I'm all packed, bag standing there ready to go. No rush. No rush. Take it easy. All the other days packed, flustered, sweating as you start the hike. Not today. Today we're doing it properly. Pack the bag, you get a bit flustered, you get a bit uh, a bit tired from packing the bag. And then what do you need after that? Not to strap the thing to your back and start walking. You need to lie down, chill out, recoup yourself, and I want to enjoy this last day. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed my hike so far. Um, it's been an awesome hike. It's been tough, really tough, some sections of it. I've really just had to push myself through, 
but even through that um, I was enjoying it I don't think at any point I was not enjoying the hike I wish I was thinner I wish I was fitter next time I come here I'm going to be thinner I'm going to be fitter um, but even so I'm proud of my body it's done me well and yeah let's push through and do the last day I hope you've enjoyed been watching these videos it's coming to an end Good. So you ready to go? Yeah. No, cool. Um, I just wanted to ask you something. Is there any chance we can have a look inside your backpack? Yes. Hey? Because I've been itching to know what's what's in your small bag. Yeah, no problem. Hey? Maybe we can just pack it out on my bed and we'll see what's what's going on. That'll be fun to see. There should be enough light in here. Mm. Hey. Thank you very much, huh? Thank you. Huh? I'll come next time, huh? Okay, okay. What's up? Which way, huh? Up. Up the hill, huh? Okay, let's get this day started. Hey, my little girl. Okay, bye bye. Thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks, cheers. Uh. Bye, uh. keep well. Uh. <laughs> cheers, big man. I saw photos of you in the it's picture really there. He was still small on the wall. Uh, uh, the photo. Yeah. He's still. Mm, <laughs> Yeah. Cheers, eh? Thanks, Thank you very much, eh? Mm. Yeah, we heard you early this morning. Early this morning we heard you. Well, leaving this household, it's been great. Really, really uh, great people, very welcoming. Um, made me feel really special. Uh, Peter, the old man, he came in to check on me often. Told me to close my door and my windows uh, last night to stop the mosquitoes getting in. I should have probably done it a bit sooner. Phew, you can't believe how steep this hill is. Hey? I don't know how those ladies get down here with a bucket of water on their heads. 25 litres. Phew. That dog's left with us. Looks like we've got another, another companion. So at the little sponsor shop at the top of the hill, I've treated us to a cold drink. Um, all they had was a score energy drink. And I suppose nothing like a kickstart in the day. I mean, this is like a 500 ml tin of caffeine. I might be sprinting the rest of the way. <laughs> so there's a sign uh, to home based accommodation, and that's where we stayed. That's where we stayed last night. We're just coming down to the beach. It looks like a lot calmer day than it was yesterday. So the moon's still holding the tide up. When the moon goes down, the tide's going out. Okay, so we've just come from that end of the beach. It's been quite a long beach walk. Um, so this house you see over there, that's on the other side of the river. So we're going to have to get a, a little rowing boat to take us across. At least it's a lot calmer today, uh, very little wind. So hopefully this ferryman's going to have a better chance. And then behind that white house is a hill. We'll call that hill number one. Bring it on. Morning. How are you? Good, are you? Good, thank you. Lovely morning, huh? 
Yeah, true. Not as windy. Yeah, last day to Coffee Bay. Okay. Day, day five from Port St. John's. Yeah, it's my guide. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been awesome, it's totally amazing. It's my first time at the Wild Coast. Oh, really? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I'll definitely be back. Oh, sure. Wonderful. Is that a, a ferryman? Yes. Patrick. Patrick? Yep. Cool. He's a busy man, eh? How are you? Eh? Are you going to take us across? Hey, yesterday you would have suffered. Eh? That guy at the other river yesterday couldn't couldn't make it. Eh? Oh. So Patrick, have you been busy? Yeah. Yeah. Over the December. Sometimes. Huh? Busy sometimes. It's busy sometimes. Other times you're quiet. Yeah. Is that another mangrove swamp? It's our third mangrove swamp. So we're nearly at the top of the hill. Um, that's down there. Um, hill number one. Nearly done and dusted. Okay, we've just veered off that dirt road. Cutting through here. Nice little dam on the right. Ocean still calm, dead calm ocean on the left. Here we have another football or soccer pitch. It seems like every village has a soccer or football pitch. It was nice to see the last one. It also had a netball, two netball courts. Seems to be mostly the boys playing football, so I give the girls something to do as well. It just breaks my heart to see to see that car suffering. Yeah. Tough going for a moment around these rocks. Here we go. If you can see how steep it is down, there's a big gully down there. I think I'm gonna have to pack my phone away just to see how it goes. Gotta keep right up against the wall. You don't want to go landing down in there. Easy, easy. So there was two options we could have taken. The one was around the beach, as we did there, over the rocks, or we could have gone around over the hill on the other side. Um, the tide was right, so we had an option. So, making my lungs into shorts for the last time. I did it on the first day, and I've been doing it every single day since. It just gives you a new lease of life for the last part of the journey. Um, you just feel all fresh again. So it's that time, so I'll be looking forward to it. We're doing a small river crossing where we're going to walk through the water, but it's not very deep, so we don't need the we don't need the bag or anything, we're just gonna walk across. There's a few stones I'll keep my crocs on. It's gonna be nice getting my feet in this cold water. And then we've got a hill. 
You're going to show them the hill, Potter? Yes. That's the hill up there, across the river. So Phil, I was standing over here when I was chatting to you on the phone. Um, but yeah, this is the river crossing I was telling you about. Oh, that's lovely, cool, cool, refreshing water. Oh, what's up? I might just stand in the middle here for a little while. <laughs> just to chill out and cool my body down a bit. Yeah, oh, this is amazing. It's about knee deep now. Probably get a little bit deeper. Yeah, it's getting deeper. Oh, it's cold. Hey, that's amazing. Uh, okay, now it's about mid thigh. I'm just standing here. Yeah. So the sea, you can see the sea crashing over those rocks. Um, rivers goes around there. We've got some goats under the tree on the sand there. The Pozzo taking some of his memories. Are you going to put me on Facebook, Pozzo? Yeah. <laughs> I'm upload those on Facebook. So we'll see, see if I can get up this hill. Is this the last hill or two more hills? Three more hills? It's the last one. Five more hills? It's the last one, this one. Last one for five days? Last one for five days. Yes. Last one of the day. Last one of the day. I'm looking forward to it. It doesn't look too bad, but then again, they're always a little bit deceptive. Yeah, from they're on top, there's a nice view because it's going to be on top of the cliff. There's a nice view of the ocean down there. Well, let me... I'm getting used to the water now. Let me just stand here for a few more minutes and then we can go. Nearing the top of this hill. It's not too bad. But if you look up there, it doesn't stop for a long while. Phew. That view is worth it. So you think this is the top of the hill and then you, you look further and you realize you're not even halfway up the hill. It just goes and goes. One step at a time, we'll make it. Sure. I've been saying that a lot. Still heading up the hill. Um, I'm hoping that's going to be the top. Um, that's where we came from. So, so yeah. the camera out. There's Coffee Bay down there. Looks like a beach. That's my destination. Cool. Nearly there. Nearly there. It's been quite an emotional day today. Coffee Bay.